Yo, what's going on, 67? Let's go today. We're here doing a ranked 1v1. I am playing Bologna because I haven't played a bunch of Bologna at all recently. I haven't played any Bologna at all in like. I want to say over half a year, probably. We're just going to go straight up attack speed, I think. That's what wins games, right? Ijeval also just fucking slams. I'm gonna go Curse Donk. I'm gonna go Curse Donk first relic and go for the dub. I'm also not gonna get my one. I wanna save mana since I'm getting speed buff. But I don't wanna save enough mana to not use my three because that would mean I would take too much damage and that's not cool either. Again, especially against somebody that heals like him. No, thank you. I kind of wanted... I should have gotten Hunter's Blessing or Mage's Blessing, to be honest. I'd have so much mana sustain that I wouldn't even need... Boom! Warrior's Blessing proc. Ooh, he started his three. Actually, I don't know why I'm surprised by that. You should absolutely start your three anytime you play Zong. I just want to hit him. just want my warrior's blessing. Got him. Nice, I got two warrior's blessing stacks off that fight, man. About to be tanky in no time. Can I get these minions? No, 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 no. I hate it when you're right next to an objective. And then whatever, um, I guess stance. I don't, I don't know if you would call it a stance technically, but whatever weapon that you're holding disappears, and then you have to reuse the ability to get it back. Super not cool. Boom. Okay. I actually could not be any less scared of him. Oh, that's why he's going. Warrior. Warlock Sash. <clears throat> He's slightly ahead of me. No big deal. He's actually backing right now. I'm gonna clear wave, go to go to red buff. I don't think I can Oh god, they almost ran into the tower. I don't think I can actually do red fast enough because I started with Warrior's Blessing, but. You never know. I will alt it. Don't come over here. Is he waiting for an item? Where the hell is he? He's not even at... Okay, he must be waiting for an item. In which case, going for red buff was a good call. Yeah, because he doesn't even have a buff on right now. He's actually just waiting for an item. Waiting for tier 2? No. No, he didn't wait at all for that. I, I don't- I actually just don't know where he went. Whatever. I don't need to know everything. I'll accept myself for not knowing. Dude, the base auto attacks on the skin are the most annoying thing I've ever heard. Gonna stick with hammering people. Boop, boop. Attack speed boots. This will teach him not to mess with Itch me. Itch of all. I don't even know if max aim three is the right play here over the one. I guess the one all it does is increase damage. The three at least increases disarm. Oh, and it increases healing. Never mind. That's definitely the right play. Give me your warriors. Oh, what a good Aegis. He missed. Kill him. Nice. 
It was actually a really good Aegis on the ult. I wasn't expecting it almost died because of it. Clear the wave. That's annoying. Um, I just save up for Silver Branch on my back, right? I won't die to him clearing a wave, will I, with 500 HP? He has no ult. He started Warlock Staff. He has no damage. We're not going to die clearing a wave. Boom. Got to make sure to get those stacks as soon as I can. Alright. So the kill gave us a little bit of a lead to work with. I don't really care if he gets red buff because I want speed buff anyways. I have a lot of attack speed right now. I should probably... I mean, if I want to win, at least, I should go defense right now. Like, Runic Shield. Because he doesn't have much power. He has 100. Why does it say he has 147 power? Warlock Staff... Oh, it only has more power when it's stacked. That's why. Never mind. Boop, boop. Ichival makes me do so much damage. Push up. Push up. Push up. Push up. Push up. Stack Ichival. Alt. And you're dead. Boom! Alright. You stack Ichival. I guess I should take tower. You stack Ichival so you get all your power from the Ichival stacks and then... You use all of your damaging abilities afterwards to completely demolish any opponent in your way through One Punch Man style. Yeah, he did red. He did that too. He's so good at farming. I want it. I really thought he was actually going to try to try to get this blue buff. Try to sneak it in there, an ability or two. Alright. It's a pretty dominant game so far, I'd say. Still trying to think of what item to go. Like, I could go Runic or I could go Toxic Blade. I don't think I need Toxic Blade yet, because... Oh. Go ahead and stun me. I don't think I need Toxic Blade yet, because... I have Cursed Tonk and he has no Bancrofts, so... I'm pretty sure we're okay with just Cursed Tonk at the moment. I guess I should just go Runic Shield. It's the safest play. I don't think I've made a play like going Runic Shield right here in a long time. Like, just an objectively good play. <laughs> it's always some stupid fucking meme. <clears throat> it's always a meme, or it's always... Uh... Defense makes you a bitch. So I never build it. But also... Losing kind of makes you a bitch, too, when you think about it. What the... Can I just do Bull Demon? It doesn't seem like he's gonna come over here. He's going to red right now with his pathing. Fuck it. Let's try it. A lot of damage. Okay. Red buff for Bull Demon on the Phoenix. My man's just gonna do no damage. What the? Come here. Damn. 
This is this is rough to witness to be honest. Imagine if I had a frost on right now. Damn. He ages. I think he horrific as well. I was a little bit slow there for a second. This up. Oh, hey. I wish I had life steal, dude. Maybe I could just go Aussie next item. But to be completely honest, like I'm pretty sure we all know Kins is the next. The next item I should go. Is he starting Warlock Staff? And he's Zonkwe. So he's gonna be pretty healthy. Frostbound. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get full build this game. I'm pretty sure that I'll I'll win way before that. So just for future reference to anyone who's Wants to play Bologna and then gets this matchup. I'd probably cut the build into... A Kins as my fourth item. It depends on how tryhard you're being. If you're being super tryhard, then your fifth item would be a Pestilence. And your sixth item would be a Toxic Blade. If you're not being super tryhard and you're kind of smacking, then you go Kins into like an Aussie to try to push your lead with your lifesteal and then you probably double defense anyways with Pestilence of course I think that's probably the play this is how I would build it I'm not saying it's it's right or even good but I feel like it would see results pretty well Attack speed is so much faster. How much is this? 20%? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's got 2k HP at level 15. So. <laughs> That's how much I had, and I'm a warrior. With Warrior's Blessing. Who are you? Show yourself, demon. Yeah! You will not stun me. Look at that. Kins did 318 damage that fight. Kins did more than my alt and thorns combined. Oh god, I... Oh, Jesus. Oh god. I tapped out on accident. So yeah, Kins is a big pickup. With how fast you auto-attack as Bologna... Kins is almost certainly the play. I don't think he can kill me here, but I do want to life steal and get another speed buff. So, what's his build? He's going into Bancrofts, or, yeah, probably a Bancrofts. I mean, it could be a Typhons, to be honest, because I am kind of tanky to him. So, I wouldn't oppose seeing a Typhons here, but I'm pretty sure we win before that. Look at that, dude. I hit him 19 times just now for 435 kins damage. Like, I normally don't prioritize kins on a lot of characters, but Bologna auto attacks so much that it just, it's so worth it. Um, with him going Bancrofts, I probably go Toxic Blade next. I could go Pestilence, because I have Thorns, so he would just do a lot of damage to himself. Um, if I have double defense. I think either one is a really good option here. I could also just go Aussie because I'm really far ahead. I, I wish I could do both builds just to show you that both will work. Because I recommended them and I don't like recommending things if I don't think that it will work. <laughs> but, um... I guess I should show you the more try-hard build, because that's more than likely what most people are going to be building. 
in order to win these games. So we'll go Pestilence here. Pestilence into Toxic Blade, and then I'll probably sell boots for... Mm. I don't know if Aussie is a good 7th item. I could just sell boots for... What's that? What, 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 this... this uh, Hastened? If I could keep up, or Frostbound. Obviously, only sell boots if you get a 1500 pot. If you sell your boots to get a frostbound, you should, and you don't have a 1500 pot, you're going to be slower than before. Definitely no point in that. I kind of. Um, I'm tanky, right? It doesn't matter. He's going to stun. God damn it, I'm so slow. The horrific is OP. Look at this, dude. 500 passive damage. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Dude, if I finish Toxic Blade... I'm pretty close, honestly. I need, I need 1700 to finish it. Because Blessing sells for 466. I also, by the way, could win at any time. I just kind of want to show the build off. Because I feel like I should if I'm recommending it, you know? The altar. Alright. I should probably drop red so he can't get it. Yeah, I could win at any time. I just want to show the, the build off. I wonder if I should do... Can you guys let me know in the comments if you would like to see my recommended build in the matchup? Because I know a lot of times I just meme build. Um, but it wouldn't be very difficult, I don't think, to just edit in what build I would go and what build I am going in the beginning. <clears throat> There's a lot of my shit is meme stuff. So let me know if you would like to see that or if you just don't give a fuck. Either way, your, uh, your feedback is super important. Alright, so with Toxic Blade, I mean, there's already no chance he was going to win the game, but there's especially no chance he's going to win the game now. He just doesn't heal enough or like do enough damage. I was in there taking seven Titan autos while his alt is ticking on me. While he's sitting there beating me up. Pretty much nothing he can do here, fortunately. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that one. All right. Phoenix comes up soon. Gonna life steal a little bit. All right. Titans one HP. All we gotta do is alt it, and we win. I don't know. I'm trying to think like, what would my seventh item be? And I think. I think it would be either Soul Eater or Aussie. As weird as that sounds. Hello. Oh my god, look at the kids. 
706 damage. What the fuck? <clears throat> All right. Well, yeah, that's basically the build that I would use in this matchup pretty much most of the time, I'd say. You you probably could switch out Ichival for whatever you wanted, really. But, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.